have Nora, who is absolutely terrified. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen of the Rim World. Hope you're having a great day. Welcome to part three of our journey to the stars. So I've made a little bit of reorganising here. I'm trying to make the place a bit prettier. Uh, our overall goal for this episode is to try and rescue uh, Tui here. Try and rescue Tui. If we look at the world map, she is held here. It takes about 1.8 days, I think. I did check it earlier. Before we do that, though, we've got some preparation to do. Because we're going to only leave one person behind. We're going to leave Marlboro behind to look after our uh, wounded teammate here. Who is sick with the... Uh, Paralytic Abatia, however you say that. Uh, so before we do that, I'm going to try and make some better quality clothes for protection. Our ship to the stars quest has become active. We're going to find out where it is. If you haven't seen it before, I'm sure you have. Friendly AI, friendly AI, Charlton Whitestone. There's a ship somewhere on the planet. If we get to it, power it up. Eventually. It's a long way from now. Uh, we can eventually get out of this place escape the rim world so we would have to travel all the way up here through the rocky big eel through the faller tiger what are these white ones ice sheets okay that's the goal guys now we know where we've got to go when I find us again there we are <laughs> alright then but first things first we've got to expand our colony colonists have decided to have a party let's see what they are chatting about oh there's a flirting going on rebuffed by Marbra been raided again by the Todo Treaty, but we do have a royal tribute collector from the Empire here, so uh, I'm hoping these will take care of them for us. Beginning their assault. Yeah, these guys stand no chance. <laughs> the Empire with the sniper rifle. Is that a heavy SMG? Yeah. Are they all biocoded? Oh, well, it would be nice if some of these got down so we could steal the... <laughs> and a wild turkey. These tribals are in for a tough time. Lol. The melee fighters from the Empire decided to sit this one out. We're just leaving Sophia and uh, the two soldiers to deal with it. I'm not helping them at all. We will have that bird though. Spiders wounded. <laughs> What's these guys like? This has got pretty good shooting. Wow, he can't hit anything. Wow, dead. Oh yeah, we don't get the sniper rifle, do we? It's, uh, it's got those acid things inside them. How about you guys help out your uh, teammates? No, not interested. I've got a feeling this guy's gonna go down. Are you guys really good chats or something? Yep. Oh, one of these is down. Okay, see if we can rescue her. Marbra, capture. Unfortunately, run over the traps. Let's have a look at you. Yeah, you'll be fine, I'm sure. Ah, she's gonna be fine. Let's clean this blood up. Five desperate refugees are approaching. Their leader is called Gwyn. They say their caravan was ambushed and everything was taken. Gwyn begs you for permission to stay at the diseased hellhole. They must be desperate for 14 days. Let's take a look at our new recru recruits. Gwyn. Start taming some alpacas finally. Anya. She's a psychopath, greedy. Again, good with animals, great at melee. Cabal. Staggeringly ugly wimp. Amelia Amy Gway, a coma child rancher, incapable of dumb labour, uh, earnest chef, super immune, jealous nudist, nice shooting. Yeah. Welcome aboard, guys. So, as you can see, we are making some changes here to the base. Uh, we're going to have to build them some beds. And the good news is that I noticed Anya is already on the way to train an alpaca with the rice in hand. Let's see how she does. How she does. Let's see how she does. 38% chance and she did it straight away. We got our first alpaca. Oh, Gwyn is also in the case. 
nine animals, one passion. Come on, you cheeky little furbag. The alpaca refused. I do feel like going on a hunting spree, but I feel like the elephants might just kill me. So I'm, uh, I'm resisting for now. Unfortunately, we didn't get any uh, new beds sorted out for our visitors, so they are having to sleep under the stars. Uh, hopefully by the end of tomorrow night we will have uh, solved that problem, though. Look at them just sleeping in the, on the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new relationship. Marbra and Dabu. He was working on her ages ago, wasn't he? With his little flirting comments. Double bedtime. In this room. With everyone around them. Hmm. The time has come for us to mount our rescue operation of Tui. I've put together a three-man team here, plus our two freshly tamed alpacas. It leaves us in an awkward situation of leaving Dadu behind to care for Senra and our prisoner. It leaves them vastly outnumbered by the the strange visitors. Because we still don't know if they're going to turn on us or not yet. So hopefully they remain friendly. Otherwise the camp's theirs for the taking if they want it. I don't think uh, Dadu will pose much of a threat and Senra definitely won't. So uh, fingers crossed, let's go. Let's get this uh, rescue operation underway. Godspeed, dear travellers. Isdo, the Seville Outlander Union, are offering me a pretty nice reward if I kill all members of Gwyn's party. I don't think they're going to turn on me. I've just got a feeling they're not going to turn on me. I think they're going to they're going to appreciate what I've done for them. They're going to stay loyal to the cause. And some of them are going to join. Maybe all of them. I mean, who wouldn't want to stay here? Oh, and I can see more alpacas have entered the region. Yes, please. We shall take those. And a mad turkey. Oh. <laughs> that went well. And yes, I was preparing to open the ancient danger. But I'm going to wait for my people to get back first. A cunning plan is brewing. Seems like our caravan has arrived at the destination. Let us have a look around. It said guarded by two, didn't it? Yes, we have Nora. Who is absolutely terrifying. And we have Blythe, who is less terrifying. A brawler, a psychopath, a cannibal and a fast learner. This is horrible. Terry Von Doom. I, I don't even particularly want to recruit her anymore. Can't turn back now, can we? I wish there was some way of getting rid of this. Anyway, let me come up with a little plan here. Where's, my, where's, where's our people? Cockroach. Do we just approach? No turrets or anything? We've got to do something about Nora. We've got to try and kite around or something? I don't know, let's see. Maybe we'll wait for Blythe to go over there. What? Oh, he's gone inside. Maybe this is a good time to isolate Blythe. Oh, we can shoot with Salamander from here. All well, you guys flank around here. Oh, nice shot. Right in the torso. Oh, I thought you were going to hit him again then. Let's get the Masterwork Revolver going as well. Come on. No, maybe we stay in. We stay out here. We outrange him. Nice cockroach. Let's pull back with you. See if Salamander can take him out. Can you reach from there? Oh, okay. Can we go reach from here? Actually, I, th I think I do want to get cockroach shooting. Before Nora comes on, Nora's coming. And what's your... What state are you in? Well, we've shot you in the right hand. I think your shooting is going to be horrible. Okay. I'll shoot at Nora. Oh, the fleeing! We killed one. Would be amazing if we could capture Nora. Easy. Go this way, don't want you. What are you doing? Saving. Oh. Can we, like. Right lung destroyed? It'd be a long time before we could replace it. Ah, oh, never mind then. Let's just kill her. Fact. Yeah, it's done. Let's go and liberate our new recruit. Oh, oh, turret! <laughs> I literally said no turrets, and there's turret! Ah! Man up and do it. Oh, wow, nice shot. Straight into a wall. Oh, 
tense moments here. Oh, run away. What happened to you? In the right ear. <laughs> oh my god. Brutal stuff. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Free prisoner. Hello, Tui. Yes, we will have this, thank you. Okay, a thousand beds, nice. Guess we'll get out of here with our new recruit. I had forgot that Salamander had been shot in the right ear, so we're gonna fix him up here. I'm also gonna deconstruct all of these sandbags. We might be able to use the cloth for something. Or I'm pretty sure we will use it. But any clothes at all would be right. Would be would be nice for Tui, wouldn't they? Nice hair though. Let's get the heck out of here. And our new freshly arrived cook is here, running around with no clothes on. We are researching uh, complex clothing, so that should be done soon. Should get some dusters made. So we are now almost fully prepared to break into this cookie jar. See what's inside here. I've almost trapped it. Just one more trap to make up here once he's finished this one. Okay, obviously it's broke. Okay, obviously that didn't work. Um, our new chef is here, happy working away. Obviously she needs some clothes, like I already mentioned. Uh, but look, burning passion for my work, plus 14. She's just happy to sit here all day and cook. You know, at first I wasn't happy with the incapable of violent. I mean, obviously I would prefer people can fight as well. But I mean, if, it, if she's going to be super happy just sitting in here all day, and also any raiders that come, she can eat them. With that being said, we're going to save the ancient danger for the next episode. Thanks for watching if you made it this far. I do appreciate all your support. If you'd like a... I think this spider is... <laughs> this spider. I think that spider is pretty much ready to be recruited. Yeah, resistance remaining zero. So if anyone wants to be named. She is a 56-year-old uh, archer. Bully gatherer. She's going to be shooting. She should be getting involved in plenty of action. Let me know, guys. Hit me up. Thank you. See you next time.